Hello Dover Year 6, it's Miss Banks here and welcome back to our online learning. Today in grammar we are going to be looking at prepositions of time and place. Prepositions are words that tell you where something is located or positioned compared to something else. So if we have a look at our image below here, we've got our little alien person and to start with he is behind the ball, then he's beside the ball and finally he is on top of the ball. We could say that the ball is under our little alien person on the last picture and we could say that the ball is in front of the alien person on the first picture. Let's have a look at prepositions of place. Prepositions of place tell us where something is. For example, beside, under, on top, against, beneath or over, etc. An example sentence containing a preposition of place would be, my shoe is under the table. So very simply, they just tell us where something is. Prepositions of time, let's have a look at that. So, prepositions of time tell us when something is happening. For example, until, during, after, before, or it could be more specifically, such as on Christmas Day, at 12 o'clock, in August. An example sentence containing a preposition of time would be, there are only five more sleeps until it is my birthday. So, simply, the prepositions of time tells us when something is happening. Now, there are lots of different prepositions. There are actually around 150 prepositions in English. Some are much more common than, than others. So prepositions of and to, as well as in, are among the 10 most frequently used words in English. Other prepositions are used less frequently. Your challenge is on our Dovern classroom wall stream is to try and write down as many prepositions that you can think of and I want you to include within that list some that are really common and some that are far less common. And um, Pop it on the wall and we're going to see who can get the most prepositions and making sure they're obviously all correct. I hope that uh, PowerPoint has helped you recap what prepositions are. You have got a worksheet to do on it so hopefully this will have been helpful. Good luck, any questions let me know. Enjoy, stay tuned for the new video soon. Bye.